Thank you very much. We may be seated. Um, directors of proceedings this morning. And chairperson of Mohodisani Assembly Church Board and host Pastor Moluki Mokwani and Mamuruti. Mamuruti Mokwani and Mamuruti. Kosi Alfred Dihuzo. President of AFM International, Reverend Dr. Frank Chikani and Machikani. President of AFM Botswana, Pastor Joabek Usimile and your dear wife. Members of the Executive Council of AFM in Botswana. Members of the board of this assembly and your spouses. Pastor Kwaravi and your wife. AF, past, AFM pastors and your spouses invited church leaders, all invited guests, members of this assembly, ladies and gentlemen, be greeted in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I am delighted to be part of this holy gathering this morning. And of course, I'm here standing in for my boss. And our brother in the Lord. Yes, are all away. Minister Nunufo Ezekiel Molifi. Who had really wanted to be with us this morning. But this morning, as the pastor indicated earlier on, he left for South Africa accompanying His Excellency the President to the inauguration of President Ramaphosa of the Republic of South Africa. But it is a great honor and privilege for me to be here standing in for him as guest speaker at this great occasion. There is no higher privilege than to be accorded the honor to officially open a facility dedicated to the service of our Creator. I am therefore truly humbled and I feel extremely blessed this morning. I could quote quite a number of scriptures to emphasize just how special this occasion is and how it is connected to the advancement of the kingdom of God. But as you might have realized, Reverend Dr. Chikani is here. He will satisfactorily perform that assignment. Nevertheless, my presence here signifies government's commitment to the spread of the gospel of Jesus Christ, which has been the foundation of the very soul of this nation. For me, this is not just an event to mark the commencement of the use of this facility. This is a divine occasion, for Ki, this is no ordinary building. This is a holy place conceived in the heart of our Lord and placed in the hearts of his servants and brought to manifestation by the obedient dedication of his people. I know I am speaking to the converted, 
But sometimes we are slow to notice a miracle right before our eyes. Today, to imagine that this place, like three years ago, this place was just a bush. And for this to have transformed into a magnificent building valued at around five million pula can only be a miracle. Me. Kore re mana ko nyana hala se kana ka sepe e be se tse go hetugile go na le hilo la kana kana la madi a kana kana tota se se supa gore ke motholo ka boa maru Especially when you consider the fact that this is done through voluntary efforts Bo go le jang ha motho a lebeletse gore e dirilwe ka boithaopo Therefore I am confident that this place will be a sanctuary for not only the people of Mogoditani, but for many from all walks of life. Myself included. Our country is going through perhaps the most testing period that it has ever experienced since independence. The challenges we are facing today are much more complex because they threaten our basic principles of unity, peace, and the stability that this country has been known for since independence. We are facing challenges of unemployment, drug abuse, high rates of divorce, even in the church, conflicting moral value propositions, corruption, domestic violence, gender-based violence, just to mention but a few. One might say that these are growing pains. But it is very clear that if we do not approach these issues with wisdom, we may place the future of our nation in jeopardy. Distinguished members of the congregation, as government, we can only provide a space for solutions to be proffered. In dealing with these problems, we provide conventional interventions such as reviewing laws, increasing law enforcement visibility, establishing programs that are meant to alleviate abject poverty and seeking investment opportunities that would help reduce unemployment. But to a large extent, these solutions cannot succeed without the involvement of the church. I am happy to know that Mohoditani Assembly is fully dedicated to healing the total person by providing not just prayers but free counseling. This is commendable because the problems that I just outlined are an indication of internal turmoil. The provision of counseling will help address such problems that manifest themselves into what we see happening in our society today. 
bo gakulu di boka thusa gore bo ritibatsa semo sa mathata a ra bona go mpeno Having said that though I wish to commend the visionary leadership of this assembly Ke bata go le boga bo etlile pelo jo botsepameng tsa phutego e moruti le mma moruti the pastor and mamruti for demonstrating good stewardship in the use of the limited space they have been given ka gore ba supile e le ba rongwa ba mma khonta ba khonne go thusa gore go diragadiwe sa seka dirwa le ha gone go sena spaces sa seka lokalo earlier on pastor you said you were talking to to the land board mogodzani land board i suppose u rile moruti khantela wa bua ba re o itema khantsela o kila wa wana ngwe ngwe le ba ka boditsa Uh, myself and honorable mulifi we will assist you in that space na ni mototegi mulifi re ta le ka har ka le kanteng the phenomenal growth in membership of this assembly therefore is not by accident me go gola mo go kana kana ka phutego ye ga se ma go itirang hela much as we consider the church to be a partner in development le ha tota re tsa go re re tshwanetse re tshwarega nne tiro ya go thabolla le ha tse rona le kereke a concerned about the conduct of some groupings which not only flout the laws of the country but engage in suspicious practices in the name of religion me tota re le puso re tshwantswe ke di thopha dingwe tse leng gore tota ga di tole molao hela me di re di itela di dira di tiro dingwe tse di belaetsa In such instances it is clear that criminals have infiltrated the church. Mese ha se iragala, se re supetsa hore ka bo amaruri dinokwani di thasetse kereke. We have heard stories of churches being involved in such practices as money laundering. Ru tule di khantse le ngore di kereke di ithelwa mo di tirong tse di tshwanang tsa go thatswa madi. Extortion, go tsietsa human trafficking, go rekisa batho and tsedi ngwe tsedi busula and many other bad practices our constitution our constitution guarantees freedom of worship mala motheo wa rona o dira gore mongwe le mongwe a kgone go bomela ka ha batangateng but some of the suspect practices have forced government meja anu dingwe tsa ditiro tse tse di belaelang tse tse di belaetsang tse di tirile gore puso to take measures that some might consider interfering in faith matters by the state it's a di khato tse leng gore jaano mbangwa e bile ba ba bona gore jaano o ka re puso e khoreletsa ko ba ko ba measures have included tightening laws that regulate the registration of churches di khato tse di di akaretsa go gagamatsa molao wa ikwadiso ya dikereke it would be irresponsible of government to stand by where there is exploitation of citizens by suspect people claiming to spread the gospel ba ga etso e ta bele go thoka bo ikarabelo go re puso e ka ithala mo re tsutsi di di go na le batho ba ileng gore jaanong ba thasetse sechaba it is our sincere belief as government ka jalo re dumela se re le puso that the church should provide solutions and not be part of the problem go re ke re ke tshwanetse e ntse tharabololo e seng gore e nna karolo ya mathata but i must hasten to say me makita gana le gore government will remain committed to freedom of worship puso e ta tswela la e thoma misa gore mongwe le mongwe o letersegile go bamela ka ha ba tankateng to facilitate the work of god gore tirwa mo dimo itswelele may i further praise not only the work of this congregation but of the apostolic faith mission in botswana at large me ke se ka ka le boga phuthego e hela me ke le boga ke re ke ya apostolic faith mission mo botswana it would be remiss of me not to recognize the work of those who have laid the foundation for the gospel to be preached in this country ke ta bo ke sa ira sente hang ka se ka ka le moga tiro ya ba 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 simolotse ba ba tile mpile go thoma misa gore ke re ke ya simolla mo la hasil those who traverse the lands and breadth of this country establishing assemblies and encouraging the formation of scripture union in schools ba ba neng ba khara kha tshegalela ha tsele ba thoma misa gore di phuthego di a thomiwa le gore mekhato ya scripture union e ko di kolong e nna teng the opening of this facility bears testimony to the work they did 
go buka jalo go bulwa ga ga lehelo le go supa ka bo amaruri tiro ya ba idirileng it is also a clear signal that the future of the church in this country is very bright e bile go supa gore tota ke re ke mo le hasel le ena le isago this facility speaks loud and clear that jesus is indeed alive ke re ke e supa sente gore that the gospel is still the answer to the world today. In conclusion, allow me at this point in time to declare this building officially open. And I thank you for your kind attention.